let's discuss question 2 so which says that let a be a fixed real number consider the equation x plus 2 whole square x plus 7 whole square plus a equals to 0 where x is a real number now for what values of a will the equation have exactly one double root so exactly one double root so note this condition because many students made this mistake so we'll be considering our polynomial g of x to be equals to x plus 2 whole square times x plus 7 whole square now you must know that when can a polynomial have exactly one double root that is if f of x is a polynomial and alpha is a double root of f of x then the condition is that f of alpha should be equals to 0 and f dash alpha should be equals to 0 but if double dash alpha cannot be equal to 0 because if, if double dash alpha is equals to 0 then the multiplicity of the root alpha is at least 3 so then we have to differentiate g of x so if we differentiate g of x so g dash x is equal to 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 7 whole squared plus 2 times x plus 2 whole squared x plus 7 which is equal to 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 7 times 2x plus 9 and so g dash of x is equal to 0 if and only if x is one of these numbers that is minus 7 minus 2 and minus 9 over 2 but we see that if alpha is minus 7 then not only like minus 7 is a double root but also minus 2 is also a double root but we should have exactly one double root and so a cannot be equal to 0 and so these two are not our options so then we should go for minus 9 over 2 and let's check what g of x at x equals to minus 9 over 2 is taking so g of minus 9 over 2 is equal to 5 over 2 whole to the power 4 and so you see that if we subtract 5 by 2 whole to the power 4 from g of x then at minus 9 over 2 it will take the value 0 right at x equals to minus 9 over 2 and thus a should be equal to minus 5 over 2 whole to the power 4 so this is the only possibility for a and so we are done with question 2